With this video, you learn how to create a graded quiz that includes 3D questions and scoring for the end user. The project I have opened starts where we left off in the basic quiz video that's part of our Learn Create YouTube series, where we created 2D questions. We're going to start by creating two 3D questions, after which we'll convert our quiz to a graded quiz including scoring. To create a 3D question, let's continue our last step, go to the form editor and change the question type to multiple choice 3D. First, let's update the text for our question and answers. Which part is the air inlet fan? With three answers. Fan, our correct answer, front axle and the rear axle. And then, let's attach the actual 3D geometry to these answers. This can be done by dragging and dropping the selection from the step hierarchy to the select object label. Let's keep our attempts at 2 and keep show highlight spheres enabled. This will be a helpful indicator for our users to see which objects are viable for selection. You can also change the color of the highlights to your preference. I'll keep it on yellow for now. To further improve the end user interaction, we can also enable callouts on the selected 3D answer objects. We can do this in the object properties of the answer objects. Scroll down to callouts at the bottom of the window. In the warning tooltip, you can see that the callouts content will function as a slave to the actual quiz. This means we only have to configure the position and size of the callouts. Let's change the size to 20 cm and adjust the position. We can do this for all answer objects. We can simulate the current step in simulation mode to see how the callouts will react to the quiz by pressing shift plus space. You can see that the experience will only reveal the answer labels once a user answered the question correctly or when the user is out of attempts. Let's create another 3D question. This time with some 3D arrows to indicate the location of the high pressure compressor. So now we have a quiz with four questions, but we'd like to add a scoring screen at the end of the experience. This will also make sure that the quiz results are correctly recorded and sent to our content management system for evaluation. First, let's start by adding a new step based on the default state. This can be done by right-clicking the last step and selecting Add New Step. In this step, let's go to the UI editor and change the template to Quiz Results. Immediately, we see a to-do list that explains us on how to correctly set up a graded quiz. Let's start by updating our quiz settings to a graded assessment. Our passing score can stay at 80%, so an end user needs to answer at least 3 out of 4 questions correctly in order to pass the quiz. Next, we can change our questions to be graded questions in the form editor on each step. You can also choose not to mark some questions as graded, this will make them function as knowledge check, meaning they will not be taken into account for the final result calculation. In my quiz, I marked all my questions as graded. Now our quiz is ready for simulation. Let's try it out. This looks good. Let's publish the scenario as persistent per user, so an individual user will be able to resume a session after potentially having to interrupt their quiz. Now we can test it a final time in the WorkLink app. These were the steps required to create a graded quiz. Thank you.